El horror cósmico, conocido también como horror Lovecraftiano, este estilo que Lovecraft refinó para contar historias sobre sus propios mitos, que comprenden un conjunto de elementos sobrenaturales, mitológicos, humanos y extraterrestres. Las narraciones de este género usualmente se caracterizan por la presencia de una atmósfera oscura que intentan transmitir la idea de que existen secretos que el hombre no está destinado a saber, y en la búsqueda de la sabiduría o de la comprensión de los secretos del vasto universo en el que vivimos. Los descubrimientos que realizan pueden acabar dañando la cordura de una persona, ya que nuestra mente no está preparada para asimilarlo. Dicho esto, sé que existen varios juegos con esta temática o inspirados en los libros de Lovecraft, pero por allá, por el 2005, llegó para la Xbox y después en 2006 para la PC, la llamada de Cthulhu, los rincones oscuros de la Tierra. Un juego de acción y aventura de terror en primera persona que está basado en el trabajo del maestro, es una reimaginación de la novela corta La Sombra sobre Innsmouth, que también contiene elementos de la campaña del juego de rol llamado Escape from Innsmouth, un juego de 1992. Aunque la historia diverge varios lugares y presenta a un protagonista diferente, varios niveles del juego reflejan pasajes de la novela. Una subtrama importante del juego también está inspirada en la novela de Lovecraft, Las sombras fuera del tiempo. Tomando lugar principalmente en el año 1922, la historia principal sigue a Jack Walters, un detective privado mentalmente inestable que está contratado para investigar el poblado de Innsmouth, un misterioso lugar que se ha aislado casi por completo del resto de los Estados Unidos. Así que partamos hacia el mundo donde ya nada será lo que era. Después de la introducción que toma lugar en el hospital psiquiátrico Arham, el juego comienza el 6 de septiembre de 1915, cuando el policía Jack Walters es convocado a una casa de campo muy descuidada en Boston. Este lugar está habitado por un extraño culto llamado La Sociedad de los Chicos, cuyo líder, llamado Victor Hall, ha llamado específicamente a Walters para hablar con él. Comienza un enfrentamiento armado en el que Walter queda atrapado en la mansión, separado de las fuerzas policiales que eran su apoyo, sin más opción que adentrarse más adentro en la mansión para investigar lo que sucede. Cuando la policía por fin logra entrar al lugar, encuentra que todos los seguidores del culto han muerto en lo que parece un suicidio en masa, y Walters, aparentemente loco, es enviado al hospital psiquiátrico de Arham y permanece ahí durante seis años. opening me a new fear, a real fear, a fear of myself, of what I am, and of what I've always been. All that I was is now lost. Hope, purpose, pleasure, all meaningless. I now walk in the shadows between worlds, and it is there I have finally glimpsed upon what lives in the dark corners of the earth. Oh, my God. 
this had better be good. What's the beef? Sorry, Jack. We had to call. This fellow will only talk to you. Name's Victor Holt. Don't know any. Victor? He's the leader of this weird cult that moved in here a few months back. Got about 20 followers. They've been causing trouble all over town. Stealing, going through folks' trash. Hanging around outside people's homes at all hours. No one ever presses charges, though. They're a screwy bunch. They've got the local scare. So tonight, we were just passing, you know, doing the normal rounds, when we heard gunshots fired from their property. Gunshots? Hang on there. No one said anything about gunshots. Who have we got out here? Eh, just me, Nichols, and a few new recruits. Well, that's just great. Lead the way, Robert. I better check out this crazy gang of yours. Evening, Jack. Glad you could join the freak show. How's it looking, Henry? I don't like this one bit, Jack. Check the alley on the right. Victor Holt's over there in the shadows. He's waiting for you. Can we trust him? Nope, but we've got you covered. You better take it slowly, though. They're a bit twitchy. Try to stay calm! You better hurry, Jack. I'm unarmed. Ah. We've been expecting you, Mr. Wild. I don't understand. I'm in all of these photos. All of them. There must be some kind of mistake. Why would they want me here? Ah, it must be an old case. Something I've forgotten. Some screwball with a grudge, maybe. Think. I gotta think. Pipe must drain the waste from his intestines. Looks like his kidneys. They're moving around in all that liquid. Looks like his brain. I wonder what those wires are for. Looks like his stomach. The contraption above seems to be controlling his breathing. His beating heart. Pick up. Good God, what the hell is all this? Oh, shit. It's been more than six years since I entered that strange house in Boston. But to me, it was just five months ago. Amnesia, the doctors called it. Probably brought on by acute mental stress. I remember investigating the far side of the library. There was screaming. According to the police report, they had searched the house for hours, only to find me later collapsed on the floor. When my eyes opened and I spoke, my colleagues recoiled in fear. There was something unnatural in my voice and blank gaze. They committed me to Arkham Asylum where I was diagnosed with severe schizophrenia. As it became clear that I presented no danger to either myself or others, I was released from the asylum's care. 
I have learned little of my activities in the six years that followed. The accounts I've been able to piece together show much of my time was spent in travel and study. I maintain a fanatical infatuation with the occult, delving deep into volumes concerning witch cults and dark legends, often in languages unfamiliar to my own. When I reawakened five months ago, exactly six years after entering that house in Boston, no trace was left of what had been a secondary personality. I was myself again, or at least what I believed myself to be. Return to normal life has been a painful process. In recent days, my dreams have been plagued by cosmic landscapes, and I've become fearful of my own reflection. I am beginning to remember things from that day, more than six years past, that I've told myself. Jack Walters. Uh, hello, Mr. Walters. My name's Arthur Anderson. I need your help finding a missing person. I don't take that kind of job. Uh, did you get my package? Um, uh, hold on. What exactly do you want from me, Mr. Anderson? Uh, it's one of my store managers, you see. Brian's his name. Brian Burnham. Nice lad. He disappeared recently from the first national grocery store in Innsmouth. Innsmouth? I never heard of it. Uh, it's a small fishing town on the coast, not far from Arkham. Uh, I'd like to see you in person before you leave. Hold on there a minute. I didn't agree to take this... What the hell? I'll be here all day anyway. Driver, how far did we stop? It's almost there. I'll drop you at the town square of Innsmouth. Why lock the gates? Keeps out wanderers looking for work. We don't want those folks like that interfering with our affairs. Is the bus from Arkham always this empty? Aye, and we prefer it that way. Not many come to Innsmouth. But what about trade? Surely the port needs business. Innsmouth has the means to look after them home. Into the line. Evening. Hi. My name's Jack Walters. I'm just visiting. You don't say, sir. Gilman. Charlie Gilman. I run this here hotel of an evening. You got any rooms? I'd not rightly know that for sure. All habits cleaning rooms at present. Them's from out of town can leave a horrid mess. <laughs> Talking to this fellow's getting me nowhere, and he's more than a touch creepy. If I need a room and I'm desperate, then I'll come back. Me to the first national grocery store? I hear they have a shop in town. I don't know nothing about that. Oh, well, you see, I'm looking for a young lad called Brian Burnham. I'm a friend of the family. He worked in the store. Don't know who you're talking about, Bella. I'm looking for Brian Burnham. Can't help you. Do you know the Burnham lad? He worked I in can't be seen talking to you. Excuse me, Constable. Jack Walters. Ah, uh, ropes. Alien ropes. What do you want? Could you help out a stranger to this fine port? 
Are you being funny? No, not at all. I'm after directions to the First National. I hear they have a store in town. Innsmouth don't take too kindly to them from out of town. Get lost, stranger. Evening, Constable. Certainly I'm busy. No time for fucking strangers. I'm Detective Jack Walters. I've been hired by the regional manager of the First National. And I'm Constable Burke, and I'm the law around these parts, and I'm still not talking to you. Now get lost. This ain't the place to be stood about. Move along! Evening. Uh, the name's Jack Walters. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss... Miss will do for now. Welcome to Innsmouth, Mr. Walters. Thanks, I think. Take my advice. Do what you must and then leave. Tonight. This port does not cater well to visitors. While I appreciate your concern, miss, I can handle lousy hospitality. Very well, Mr. Walters. I've been early in the Solomon's Gallons, man. <laughs> my boys, these are the joy of the noble and the rain. Who love a life in the tempest strife, in the home of the mountains. When the driving rain of the hurricane puts the lights of the lighthouse out And the growling thunder sounds is gong And the whirlwinds battle out And who's that there? Who oh, can you spare a few pennies, young mister? I can give you something for your generosity Who are you? Zedo! That be my name the two few years in now. Zedo Kellen! Do you know a Brian Burnham? Just a youngin. Worked over the store. He's gone. Killed, I reckon. Killed? What makes you think that? Them's from out of town running a store. Taking business from the Order of Dagon. They'd not accept that. What else can you tell me about this port? You just bring old Zadok a bottle of something nice, and old Zadok will fill your ears. Hello, Jack. Do I know you? Lucas Mackey. Sorry to startle you. Insmith doesn't get a lot of visitors. New names spread fast. What are you doing in town, Jack? Hear about the missing Burnham boy? Not bad. I'm a private detective. My client's a friend of the Burnhams. Seen the latest press from Arkham? Your boy's been quite busy. Hmm. What about you, Mackie? You're obviously not a local. What's your business in town? <laughs> True enough, Jack. Nothing too exciting, I'm sorry to say. I'm a government factory inspector. They posted me in this rotten hole to check over the old Marsh refinery. Speaking of which, I've got an appointment with the manager, Jacob Marsh. Okay. Maybe I'll catch you later. That's the first friendly face I've seen in this damn town. But I've been in this business long enough to know he's hiding something. Tell him anything. Where is everybody? It's very quiet. It's getting late, outsider. Folks just know what's good for them are safely bolted in their homes by now. Why, you're uncommonly kind, young feller. Here be a little something in gratitude that may help you in your search. Uh, uh. Ah. <sighs> now you be calling me crazy. Like them that's the rumor in an anchor on the lip switch. But old Zadok's seen all manner of wicked things since before you was born. <clears throat> Old Captain Mobit, where it all began. 
telling desperate folks they'd order kids better gods. Them's that would answer their prayers. Didn't the Christian folk of Innsmouth object to such blasphemy? Aye, uh, they did. It were around 46 that many folks in town were done with Obed and his ways. And all that wild preaching and too many missing, you see. Uh, a party of good folk followed Captain Obed's crowd out to the reef. Shots were fired. Next day, Obed and thirty of his fathers were in jail. And for weeks all were quiet. Till that artful night of forty-six, them's out outside reckon out it being a riot. But I'd seen them. Swarms of them. Look, old man. I don't have time to listen to these fishing tales. Oh, psst. Was a massacre. The jail thrown open. Mounds of the dead and the dying. <gasps> Shooting the Screaming and shouting all across the town square. Come morning, the mess was cleaned up. Old Obed and his family takes charge, they did. Folks were told to keep shy as strangers if we were known what was good for us. Sadok, who did all this? Who did all this? Said the old captain was now deeper in debt to his even gods. They were hankering for more than just sacrificing. Obed told folks they had to take the oaths of Dagon. What the hell are these oaths? You just asked old wastes about oaths of Dagon. Aye, he take the third oath. Just head over to his hole in the dark street. Then you'll see. For definite. He's given me a key to the town poorhouse. It could come in handy. Mr. Walters, I must speak with you. It's Jack. And just hold on there a minute, sweetheart. Are you gonna even tell me your name? My name's Rebecca Lawrence. And unless you want to join Innsmouth's long list of missing, I'd urge you to follow me. Missing, huh? Like Burnham? Of that, I'm not sure. You'd be better off asking the Billingham's daughter, Ruth. She was dating Brian. What? Who's Ruth? Quickly, you have to follow me. It's not wise to be seen talking to outsiders. Jack, Innsmouth is a strange place. There are things that have no business being here. Foul, reeking things. Strange. Trust me. I'm good with strange. That remains to be seen, but I can help you. My father discovered this strange sign while studying an old manuscript. It seems to ward off the more unusual elements in Innsmouth. Whenever you find one, you can use it to find a moment of sanctuary. Now, I must leave before we're seen together. I've seen that eye-like symbol somewhere before, but never surrounded by a star. Jack, we can't be seen talking together. What is it? Why do you stay in Innsmouth, Rebecca? My grandfather, John Lawrence, was editor of the Innsmouth Courier. He was murdered in the slaughter of 46. He had always despised the marshes and their blasphemous doings, and it was he who led the party out to the reef that night. They arrested Captain Marsh and his order, and tossed them in the old jailhouse. A few weeks later, my grandfather was dead. My father saw him die. Him and many others burned alive in the courier's basement. All the more grounds to leave. To leave would be to fail my own legacy. I have a duty to protect the good in Innsmouth. At least what little good remains. Hello, Mackie. Jack, swell to see you again. Any leads on the Burnham case? Nope. Did you know the lad at all? Just pleasantries. Seemed a nice enough fella, if a little rough around the edges. Strange business, though. I'd never have fingered him as a crook. 
The First National was a well-run store. A rare thing here in Innsmouth. Okay, Mackie. Thanks. Goodbye, Jack. Be careful what you're doing. Very careful. Innsmouth's a dangerous place. Not everyone who visits here ends up leaving by the old bus route. This Mackie character knows plenty. But I don't think grilling him for scraps of information is gonna crack this case. Hello there, little lady. Hi, sir. Are your parents at home? Daddy's at work, and Mommy's upstairs, in the attic. She's been bad. I see. So, what's your name, little lady? Ramona. Well, Ramona, could you get your mommy for me? Nope. Mommy bites. Daddy says we've got to keep her up there for her own good. Excuse me? When I go near the door, she growls. I don't love mommy like I love my daddy. You don't say. Ramona, I really need to speak to your daddy. Do you know when he'll be home? Soon, I think. You can wait inside if you like. Daddy won't mind. I'm drawing pictures with my crayons. That would be great. Thanks. I should check the place over while I've got the chance. It's a recent family photo. The corner's been torn off. I can only see Thomas and Ramona Waits in the picture. Last thing I loved away from me. I'm sorry. I didn't realize what was up there. What the hell was that thing? There's no time to explain. They'll be here soon. Listen to me closely. You've been the talk of the town all day, asking after the Burnham lad. I heard he never made it to Boston, that he was caught by the Order of Dagon. Did he pocket anything from the store's safe? Thankfully, no. It's sturdy. He'd never have wrenched it open with a crowbar. There's something in there that needs protecting from the Order. You've got to get it out of Innsmouth. Take the key to the back of my store. The safe combination's in my diary, upstairs. Hurry, Jack! What the hell's in the safe, anyway? You've gone too far this time, wait. We're taking you in for murder. You'll swing for this. Wait, he didn't do anything wrong. He killed his own daughter. His own flesh and blood. There's plenty wrong with that. I'm reckoning you do well to mind your own business, stranger. It ends must we handle things by the old ways. Jack, Jack. Oh, thank God I found you. Waite's been arrested for the murder of his daughter. I know. It's my fault, Rebecca. What are you talking about, Jack? What's your fault? There was... something in the attic. 
some kind of animal, and I let it loose. It's all my fault. The police drag weights off. He can't take the fall for this. He's done nothing wrong. We gotta do something. Guilty or not, the Order will see him lynched for it. There's nothing you can do. Oh, you must have taken quite a bang in there, Jack. Your head's bleeding. Yeah. I think I was out of it for a little while. I see you've got some bandages. Use them on your head. It'll help you heal. You're not losing too much blood. You won't need a suture. Thanks, Rebecca. You don't look like your standard crook, sweetheart. Jesus, you crazy sap! Who the hell are you? Jack Walters, private detective. And considering your recent break in and entering, how about I ask the questions? Have you any idea who I am? No, and I really don't care. My family has influential contacts in the Order, so I'd advise you to mind your manners, sir. <laughs> I'm from out of town. The Order doesn't hold much sway with me. Really? Out of town, you say? How interesting. I'm Ruth. Ruth Billingham. Huh. You're Brian's broad. That figures. Brian? Uh, I don't believe I know a Brian. Yeah, right. I've been fed that line a thousand times, and for much better liars than you. Look, Ruth, the rumor around town is that your lover boy is in the hands of the Order. What? No, that's not true. They'll have him killed. It was all my idea. I just wanted a clean break from here. What do you want me to do? I don't know. You're the detective. You think of something. I'll be waiting out at the old fishing cannery the next two nights, just past the abandoned railway station to Rowley. When you find him, give him this. He'll know it's from me. Do you have board for the night? We've plenty on the top floor of the house. Nice views over the town, I'm told. Great. The, that sounds just swell. There, sir? It's starting to look kind of funny there for a while. Face as white as bone and eyes as black as coal. Like you'd seen a ghost or something. I'm fine, thanks. It's just the sea air around these parts. It makes me queasy. The Innsmouth's breeze is not for your outsiders. Charlie, can you come with me? I need to be telling you something. Privately. Excuse me, sir. The Innsmouth Law doesn't like to be kept hanging about. I'll be right back with you shortly. Follow me, sir. I'll show you to your lodgings. I heard there was a killing over the old Waits house tonight. They reckon the old fool killed his own daughter. Caked head to toe in her blood, they says. And had to be dragged away, screaming and crying. I reckon there'll be a lynching for what he done. You're still looking pallid, sir. You're needing to have yourself some rest. Sleep well, and keep down the racket. Us Innsmouth are quiet folk. The great city of Nakotas. Rest now, Jack. You are safe. What was in the light, Jack? Where do you want to go? We are your history, Jack, and your future. I don't understand. You will, in time. 
human. Where have you put the outsider? Top of the house. Room 401. Come on, let's have him. is dead. Jesus Christ, no! You're a fool, Willie! Told you it wasn't safe in there. Look, fella, I know you're upset, but I really need some help. Ah, you're the outsider they're hunting tonight. You don't have a hope, stranger. The Order's mob will be everywhere you turn. Down the sewers is the only place that them folks balk at venturing. And for good cause at that, mind you. I can cope with foul air. It'll be a change from the stink of dead fish. You're not getting my meaning, stranger. There's rumor of real horrors in the black dankness beneath these streets. Maybe the folk with the taint are devils. But at least they're devils of this earth. You ever hear tell of a shaggoth, stranger? Just tell me where I can get into the sores. All right. You've been warned. Just the other side of this here building is a road leading down to the filtration plant. There's an open sewer pit down there. Good luck, stranger. Hello? No, wait! You're alive. Thank God. Just barely. The Order has got half this blasted town on my heels. I warned you, Jack. I told you the Order wouldn't stand to- Save it, sweetheart. You found anything more on Brian? He never made it out of town. The Order has him holed up in the old jailhouse until he's needed. Needed? Needed for what? Sacrifice, Jack. To Dagon. They'll take him out to Devil's Reef, and he'll never be seen again. Dagon? Sacrifice? This is crazy talk. Innsmouth's old fishing tales have muddled your mind. But... Mm, I don't want another death on my conscience. Where's this jailhouse? It's out the back of the Merchant's Bank, just past the old water tower. We'd better keep off the streets. The tainted are roaming everywhere. There's a secret crypt under the church that leads out to someplace safe. We can use that. My father built it when he was minister. Okay, get your father and let's go. I can't. I mean, he wouldn't pledge himself to Dagon. He, he called it blasphemy. The Order found him and... and... Jeez. I'm sorry, Rebecca. Did your father ever show you how to get into this crypt? No, but he gave me this. I think it'll help. Now! The church is this way! Come Follow out. me! Letters and books. Nothing unusual. You're surrounded! There's no way out. God help us! We'll have to make a run for it! Follow me, now. Don't let him escape! We'll be protected inside! Follow me, Jack! There are markings everywhere. 
It must have been down here that Rebecca's father figured out that mysterious sign. <laughs> Jack? Mackie, have you been tailing me? You could say that. Drop me a line next time you're planning on taking the stealthy approach. I'll watch and take notes. Funny. I don't get it, Mackie. What's your angle on all of this? I already told you. I work for the government. I've got friends at the top. Friends who've invested a lot of time in dough in Innsmouth. They don't want to see their investigation set back by some private op turning up the heat with some mindless caper. If you mean the Burnham boy, they're gonna kill him, Mackie. You know it and I know it. I can't let that happen. You're not thinking of breaking him out. He's just a punk, Jack. Where's the jailhouse, Mackie? Very well. It's your funeral. The window over there to your left looks over the jail back alley. See you around, Mackie. Are you Burnham? Yes. What do you want? I'm gonna break you out of this joint. The name's Jack Walters. I'm a private detective. Why should I trust you? What? In case you hadn't noticed it, fella, you're in a bit of a jam here. It could be a trap. Are you crazy? Stop bothering me. Lay, lay Ruth Billingham gave me this. What? This is the photograph I gave her before. Bef oh, damn. I've been so foolish. I'm sorry. If Ruth trusts you, Jack, then so do I. Please, hurry and get this door open. Not the garage on the main street holds an old automobile. It should be able to get us clear of town. We should be able to. If we can just make it through the patrols. Lead the way, Jack. Bravo, Jack. Congratulations on your new promotion to Innsmouth's enemy number one. Shut your trap, Maggie. You're not a factory inspector. Who do you work for? Okay, detective. I'll come clean. I'm an undercover agent for the United States Treasury Department. We've been working closely with the FBI on a secret investigation of Innsmouth. I'm the inside man. Really? What have you been able to find out? The Innsmouth look, Jack. It's at the heart of the problems in this town. More than half the population must be infected by now. The spreading of that contagion, or whatever the hell you want to call it, is the key. I just know it. This is all very interesting, fellas, but we gotta get out of Innsmouth with Ruth. She's waiting for us at some old fishing cannery, just past the station to Rowley. Listen, Jack. There are some agents watching the road not far past that spot. If you can make it there, you'll be safely picked up. I need you to do something for me. You can do it while I get this thing started. When they arrested me, they took a brooch I was carrying. It belonged to Ruth. It carries her picture inside. I won't leave it behind. Are you crazy? We don't have time for this. They'll be holding it in the jail office safe. I don't know the combination. I overheard Ropes talking to one of the other guards. He said something about an important date. And someone called Captain Obed Marsh. If you want to get in through the back door, just knock, and I'll open it for you. I'm finished. Get in the back. I know the way. Jack, I think I saw some ammo in the back of the truck. We'll need it. Jack, I'm up here. Ruth, what the hell are you doing up there? I must have been followed. They stormed inside just moments ago. There was gunfire outside. I only just managed to climb up here and threw the ladder down to escape. I'm trapped up here, Jack. The door's padlocked and this ledge isn't gonna hold for much longer. I don't wanna die, Jack. Help me! Keep back! I'll figure something out. I can hear something. There's a bridge out of town. 
not far from here. Just hold on. Did I ask for your damn opinion? Remember who funds this damn nut house. Very well. He's awake. Ah, Mr. Walters. Our friends in the Boston PD hold you up as quite the hero. Before you went all screwy, that is. I don't like heroes, Mr. Walters. And I don't care for your opinions, whoever the hell you are. J. Edgar Hoover, from the Bureau. And considering your position, Mr. Walters, you best mind your manners. Now, what was your business in Innsmouth? Just stopping in on some broad. I was feeling down on my luck. Needed the company. Ah, bullshit. There are only two types of folks that visit Innsmouth. Criminals and fools. And you don't seem like a fool. Appearances can be deceptive. I see. Dr. Hardstrom, if you'd be so kind. Wake him up. Just charge me with something, cause I don't know nothing. This is not gonna stop, Mr. Walters, so you may as well level with me. I already told you. It was nothing. A missing person case. And I needed the dough. I was only checked in for one night, and I had to blow the joint in the early hours. Seems the locals didn't take kindly to my snooping. For Christ's sake, Walters! Is it normal in your line of work to break a punk out of the can, then breeze out of town in a stolen car? Only on the good days. But not normally, no. I've had a shitty night, Hoover, so I'd really appreciate you cutting me some slack. What's the Bureau's beef with Innsmouth, anyway? 
Widespread criminal activity, Mr. Walters. And half the damn town's involved. Our government's never had to handle something on this scale before. But they won't sanction a full-scale operation without more evidence. Well, I appreciate the bedtime story. I don't see where I come into this. Thanks to your meddling, Mackie's gone missing. And he was close to something. Something we could use. Missing? What do you mean, missing? He was supposed to check in hours ago. Our plans have now changed. You'll be accompanying us back into Innsmouth, Mr. Walters, on a small-scale raid. Our target? The Marsh Refinery. I'm not your lapdog, Hoover. I don't work for the Bureau. I'm not in the business of making requests, Mr. Walters. Or have you forgotten your past so quickly? A signature here, a signature there, and we can make you a permanent fixture of this delightful establishment. I could even arrange for you to have your old room back. Fuck. You. Good night, Mr. <coughs> Walters. Pleasant dreams. Look here, Walters. Your profile shows that you're a man to be trusted, even allowing for your stint in the nuthouse. I've packed you with armaments. I demand your complete cooperation. Our reconnaissance reports have confirmed Sebastian Marsh, the manager of the refinery, will be out of town on business. He's left his son Jacob in charge of operation. We won't get a better chance to launch this raid. Our mission is to capture Jacob Marsh. He may be our only chance to get under the skin of the Marsh family. We must secure him alive. Sebastian away, we expect the refinery to be heavily guarded. I'll fill you in with more details when we have breached the main door. Jack, you better stay in the car while my agents secure the entrance. Get in your positions, agents! Keep sight of the loading bay! On the roof! Sustain your fire! Hold your fire! Cooper, get those damn doors open! Reception. It's locked, sir. Break it down, then secure the area. I want Marsh alive. Everything else is a viable target. Fall out. Understood, sir. Okay, Hoover. What's the plan? I want to know where the hell they're getting all this gold. Come on, let's take a look around. <laughs> What happened down there, Agent? <coughs> Did you find Marsh? <coughs> what are you staring at, Jack? He was just a field agent. He knew the risks. The power's been cut from the elevator. It must have been shut down from the mains. You try the next floor down. See if you can find the generator. I'll secure this floor. I already checked out the stairs back there. You can't get through. The corridor's choked up with hot steam. Seems like one of your agents took the full blast. He stiffed it. The body's been burned to a crisp. Well, try the other set of stairs. Get moving! Do something! 
something for Christ's sake! Shut it, Hoover! As for you, Mr. Walters, we've just about had enough of your meddling in innocent affairs. It was my pleasure to inconvenience you, Marsh. After you've watched your copper friend here die, I'm coming after you! Shoot him! Shoot the screwy bastard! Quickly, Jack! No time like the present! You have my full gratitude, Walters. You'd make a first-rate agent. Too bad you got that stinking attitude. A lousy night of torture can really grate on a man's mood. If your aim was as sharp as your wit, then Marsh wouldn't have gotten away. Your orders were to take him alive, not blow his brains out. That was before the crazy psychopath tried to kill me. Besides, he left his briefcase by the controls. There's probably enough evidence in there to sanction a full-scale raid. So I couldn't care less if you bring him back in small boxes. Just get the bastard! is needed. Ah, Mr. Walters. I see you made it at last. Seems Marsh managed to give you the slip. Fortunately, we had him picked up as he tried to flee. The Order of Dagon will make you pay for this over. I am Cthulhu. I am Dagon. Get this ugly bastard out of my face, Agent Hopper. Yes, sir. Come on, Marsh. Move it. Hoover, you got to evacuate the building. There's something down there. All in good time. We found a key in Marsh's possession. A key he was most reluctant to give up. It must have been for the elevator panel, giving access to an additional floor at the very foundation of this refinery. All my agents are busy planting explosives to flatten this place to the ground. I want you to find a way down there and check it out. Not a chance. I already told you, there's something down there. I barely got out alive. I made it clear back at the asylum, Mr. Walters. I don't make requests. Okay, but I'll be needing another gun. The fuses are primed. You've got 30 minutes before this place blows. Move! I hope to God I'm wrong. But my studies over these last months tell me that's a stone carving of Great Cthulhu. Found you. It's nice of you fellas to show up. What the hell is this place? It's some sort of shrine. Probably used by the marshes for private worship. And the oversized gargoyle? That's no gargoyle, Agent. 
That's Cthulhu. Fellas, this chamber's about to be buried under four floors of brick and metal. Okay, Walters, let's get out of here before this place blows. smuggling route? Not yet. Our intelligence estimates the most likely site would be further downstream. The Monuxit is frozen over, so we should be just fine on foot. Let's get moving. Move out, Marines! Secure the area! Yes, sir! You heard the man. Move out! Hi! You take the Parker, you cover our flank! They're all dead, aren't they? They were trapped. There was nothing anyone could have done. Damn it! I tried to tell them, but the corporal wouldn't listen. They just wanted to slaughter those... things. What's your name, soldier? Private Parker. Private Joe Parker. Well, Parker, it looks like you found the old smuggling entrance. The door's frozen over. I already tried to open it, but it's stuck fast. We'll have to melt the ice. You operate the flamethrower. I'll cover the door. Hold it! such an abomination. Is that you? Mackie, where do they keep the keys to the cells? I don't know for sure. Probably somewhere up in the main hall. What the blazes is going on? A few hours ago, the government sanctioned a full-scale operation into Innsmouth. It seems you were right about the contagion. I knew it. Why the delayed assault on the order? We have to arrest Robert Marsh now. They can't breach the doors. Anyone who gets close is driven mad. The guards were discussing some mural that Robert Marsh had etched onto the main doors. They said it was powered by a sacred ceremony to the old ones. Whatever the hell that means. We have to stop that ceremony. Sit tight, Maggie. I'll be right back. The stain. It looks like the diary of Robert Marsh. Dagon reads, Bahuin and Kugnath, Fanu Naimna, Vunag Lazai, Vunag Lazana, Kulth, I a Raigazengaro, I a Dagon. Well done, Tech. Did you find the ceremony? Not exactly. I think it's being held in some underground chamber. A great stone disc is covering the entrance away. I'm gonna need your help to get inside. I'll need a gun. No problem. It didn't take much detective work to figure out who this belongs to. First rate work, Jack. Let's go. It's the outsider. Destroy him. This plinth would have held the tablets of Dagon. Marsh must have taken them with him. I can hear running water. These must be old smuggling tunnels leading out to the harbor.
Aboard. Jack, our friends in the FBI have been putting the screws on some of the locals. They're a crazy bunch, but all evidence points to a stronghold somewhere below Devil's Reef. Just 20 minutes ago, we lost contact with the sub that was patrolling those waters. Thank you, Officer Winter. Their last communication was just some gobbled message about an underwater city. We've got to make our way to the reef and find this stronghold. The old smuggling tunnels that lead below the seabed will be our best option. Look, I appreciate you pulling me aboard, but what you're talking about sounds like suicide. Nonsense. Lieutenant, let's plan the landing in my office. It's a good job we spotted you. The waters around these parts are no place for swimming. How are you holding up, Henson? I've been to a lot of places, and I've seen a lot of screwy shit. But there ain't nothing that's ever been standing once this baby's... Hey, what the hell was that? Johnson! Wait, stay away from the side! Get the rifle, Jack! We're under attack! Jack, help me guard the entrance. We've got to stop... Take it Officer easy, Winter. Thompson. Now tell me slowly, alive, what's the situation? There's hardly any of the crew left, and, and it looks like some of those, those things managed to get below deck. Have you seen Captain Hurst? He's gone delirious, sir. Locked himself in his quarters. He won't answer the door to no one. With respect, sir, he's off his nut. Ugh. We need him to open the armory. Get inside! Run! Shut the door! Damn! I'm almost out of bullets. Gotta get below deck. Head for the armor. The mess hall locked, sir! We'll have to head to the stern! Ah. Jack, you keep back and look after Officer Winter. I'll make sure the infirmary is clear. This Move way! It. Shut the doors behind you! Oh, shit! How the hell did you get in here? A small vent, a few sticks of dynamite, and a minor explosion. You idiot! Sealing the exits is the only way we've kept those damn things out! What the hell? Pretty now. You'd better go and sort it out. Lay off. Have you been hitting the pipe? You're the engineer, you sort it out. I know nothing from nothing about ship engines. No way in hell! Those bloody things are everywhere! I already tried to get the welding kit from the cargo hold. We got jumped! Jesus, it was so fast! Only me and Paul got out alive! We had to lock Barry down there with it. Take these keys. With the welding kit, at least we could seal these doors, you know, give ourselves a bit more time. Thank goodness you're back. He's given me the keys to the cargo hold, and he's not about to give me any more help. Give me that! We've got to seal the doors! There have been noises at the other entrance. They're trying to break in. Damn it! Do something!
UFO moved on land, we would track them by the strange footprints they left in their wake, consisting of five circular toe marks. They were blind, yet had exceptional sensitivity to both motion and sound. In battle, these creatures could harness the power of the winds with terrifying precision. It wasn't until the great energy weapon was developed that we had the means to fight their evil. Then we were able to drive them down deep into the catacombs beneath their basalt towers, sealing all routes with impenetrable trap doors. of survival if they don't know I'm here. Well, well, what do we have here? I don't believe you have an invitation to our little party. 
Just check the guest list. I'm under the section for fellas that ain't ugly freaks. Throw our jester friend here in with the lab rats. I'll deal with him on a more intimate level later. Increase the security levels. Check the area. Make sure he's alone. <clears throat> And shield. The outsiders have not been able to rush through the barrier. Mother's song is bolded. There are many joining in prayer. Excellent. Dismissed. What the hell do you think you're doing, Robert? We're in the middle of an invasion, and you've got our order singing hymns! You're a fool, Sebastian. I command the Order of Dagon, not you. The research must be protected at all costs! I've shut the lab down, Sebastian. What?! This is madness! Can't you see how far this has come?! Your trivial experiments are of no concern to me. All energies must be directed at completing the translation of the tablets. The work of my great-grandfather must be finished. Take your worthless body back to shore. You are of no further use to the Order. That's not going to happen, Robert! your help. I have to get into the temple. <laughs> Only those loyal to the order have access to the main doors. But there's an old passage. A passage that runs deep beneath the temple. Though I warn you now, outsider, tread cautiously. Uh, I've heard talk of ancient dwellers <coughs> play in those dark depths. <coughs> Any evil from a forgotten time. This just keeps getting better. So how do I get down there? Explore the abandoned areas. <coughs> that is all I can tell you. Now, please, kill me and my pain.
Kugnath, Fanu Naemna, Bagliz Kafungan, Kathava Hell, Kulth Cthulhu Kafungni, I a Rigazengaro, I a Hydra. showing me this now. They are still down there, Jack. Thriving in the darkness. They're plotting. Plotting to break free of their bonds and wreak a terrible revenge. The end is inevitable. And close. Very close. How much time do we have? What the hell was that? You are no longer safe. Follow me. Oh! 
Mr. Walters? Mr. Walters? Can you hear me? Mr. Walters? He's convulsing. We're losing him. Bueno, esa sería toda la historia del juego. La verdad es magnífica, eso no hay duda. Ahora, para los que ni así entendieron la historia, les resumo. El investigador privado Jack Walter es contratado para un caso de desaparición en Ismo, pero al llegar nota que algo más está pasando en el pueblo y rápidamente todo empieza a salir mal y apenas logra escapar. Sin embargo, por cuestiones del FBI, es enviado a investigar una refinería de oro de Marsh. Después, el ejército de Estados Unidos ataca la ciudad de Innsmouth, pero al llegar a la orden esotérica de Dagon, Jack cae por un túnel hacia el mar, donde es rescatado por un navío de la marina. Aunque todo parece ir bien en cuestión de nada, el barco es atacado por los profundos y Dagon. Este alboroto causa que el barco se hunda y llegue, y llegue a una isla donde está una entrada hacia la ciudad antigua. Ahí tiene que encontrar el templo de Dagon, que crea una barrera que impide que los submarinos destruyan el lugar. Al encontrar la forma de llegar al templo, mata a la madre Hydra, lo que causa que la ciudad antigua se desplome, ya apenas si sí logra escapar. Y eso sería todo. Claro, estoy consciente que si no has leído los libros de Lovecraft, vas a perder mucho del trasfondo de la historia simbolismos y otros detalles que se encuentran ocultos en el juego. Pero eso sí, no pasa nada que lo juegues sin conocer nada sobre Lovecraft, ya que hasta cierto punto encuentras documentos que explican un poco sobre las cosas que están pasando y que estás viendo. Pero eso sí, es muy recomendable sobre todo que leas el libro La sombra sobre Ismut, Las sombras fuera del tiempo, Dagon, La llamada de Cthulhu, esos serían los principales, sin embargo, sé que hay más, pero los más expertos de Lovecraft sé que disfrutarán el excelente trabajo que hay en el juego. Antes de nada, estoy muy consciente de que este juego tiene muchos bugs, e incluso que causan el cierre del juego, pero por suerte hay un parche no oficial que no es difícil de instalar, que arregla casi todos los errores, y de hecho a mí después de instalarlo me fue muy bien, y esto lo menciono porque sé que hay personas que creen que por tener este tipo de bugs o errores, tachan por automático de malo un juego, claro. Sé que hay juegos que ni arreglando los bugs, el juego sigue siendo mal, pero en este caso no es así. Bueno, voy a continuar. Gameplay. Al principio es un estilo de juego de escape y evasión sin armas que exige la exploración e investigación de los mapas. Aunque después se introduce el estilo de juego de disparos en primera persona para los combates. Como la mayoría de los videojuegos de terror, la munición de las armas es limitada y debe ser correctamente administrada y solamente usada cuando sea indispensable, lo que ocasiona que en algunas situaciones se deba evitar el combate, aún estés armado y tengas la suficiente munición, ya que el nivel de dificultad es elevado, e incluso en modo de dificultad fácil debes prepararte muy bien. El juego no presenta la información del personaje, salud, armas, mapa, etc. En vez de eso, la condición del personaje es revelada por diferentes sonidos como el latido del corazón, la respiración, que se hace más notorio cuando estás lastimado, el color de la pantalla, la entidad cuando estás a punto de perder el conocimiento o morir. Algunas heridas específicas activan indicaciones visuales, por ejemplo, una pierna rota causa que el personaje coge mientras hace los sonidos apropiados para esta situación, mientras que un brazo roto causa que sea más difícil apuntar. El sistema de salud fue diseñado para simular un sistema de heridas más realistas que en otros juegos del mismo género. Diferentes condiciones como estar envenenado o sangrando requieren diferentes remedios, como un entablillado para curar una pierna rota, la pantalla de inventario muestra las heridas del personaje, en el que se muestra el modelo del personaje, y los objetos 
de los que dispone el personaje. La pantalla de inventario muestra las heridas del personaje. Esto también se ve reflejado en los enemigos ya que al atacarlos, dependiendo de en qué parte los hayas herido, andarán cojeando, les costará usar el arma, apuntar y recargar. Eso es muy bueno la verdad. También el personaje va perdiendo salud mental cuando mira directamente los horrores cósmicos que iremos observando durante el viaje. La degradación mental del personaje puede llevarlo a alucinaciones, sonidos o susurros, algunos incomprensibles y mortales, e imágenes que se presentan como anomalías gráficas y sonidos distorsionados, lo que provoca cambios en la sensibilidad del control. Si el personaje pierde por completo la salud mental, los llevará a la locura o a cometer automatación, lo que resultará en perder el juego obviamente. La salud mental puede recuperarse al llegar a los santuarios o derrotar a ciertos enemigos. Las áreas marcadas con el signo de los antiguos sirve como un santuario contra enemigos y puntos de guardado en el juego. Para promover que los jugadores terminen más de una vez el juego, este ofrece un sistema donde los jugadores pueden cambiar algunos puntos especiales que reflejan el conocimiento adquirido a lo largo del juego para desbloquear algunas recompensas especiales del juego u objetos ocultos e información adicional, o sea que tienes que buscar muy bien en el juego, y no lo vas a ver de primera vista. El juego ofrece un sistema de combate realista, el jugador tiene que ir contando cuánta munición le queda, además de esto no existe una mira artificial, para poder apuntar en vez de esto el jugador debe apuntar a través de las miras de las armas, pero más apuntada por mucho tiempo provocará que el personaje pierda algo de puntería. El sistema de disparos es único, ya que las balas alcanzan al blanco justo en donde se estaba apuntando. Por ejemplo, si el personaje termina de cargar su arma y dispara antes del que la munición de recarga esté terminada, la bala saldrá en dirección exacta hacia donde el cañón estaba apuntando. La mayoría de las armas del juego tienen contrapartes en la vida real, incluida una Smith Wesson M 1917, una Colt 1911, una escopeta de dos cañones, una Springfield 1903, una Thompson 1921. La única excepción es un arma de energía dirigida de los Jits. Ah, y también hay un cuchillo y una palanca para ataques cuerpo a cuerpo. Claro, también con las armas cuando no tienes munición atacas cuerpo a cuerpo. Algo que me encantó de este título es que no indica por dónde ir, lo que provoca una grandiosa exploración del entorno, ya que algunos últimamente se quejan de eso por parte de otros juegos. Los puzzles están muy bien y algunos estarán pensar por un buen rato la verdad. También, los personajes tanto el principal como los secundarios son interesantes e inolvidables con buenas historias que agregan a la trama y saben que hasta los NPC más simplones tienen carisma. Ya quisieran otros juegos si quiero un personaje interesante pero bueno. Ahora vamos con los enemigos que te puedo decir se ven espectaculares ya que lograron recrear ese aspecto que a primera vista te deja claro que hay algo extraño en ellos. Obviamente hay algunas entidades como la gran raza Jeep, excelente diseño, un Shogot, Dagon. Que hablando de estos, cuando estás combatiendo con algunos de estos jefes, un detalle que me encantó es que al estar en su presencia, empiezas a enloquecer poco a poco. Cosa que si has leído los libros, es obvio que no podemos entenderlo y muchos entran en locura. A ver si quieres saber algo de estos antiguos, la verdad eso me agrada porque se apega mucho a los libros. Eso sí, lo que a mi parecer es lo más importante son los escenarios, ya que en ellos logra transmitir esa sensación de que hay algo muy malo ocurriendo, como por ejemplo en Ismu, que se ve depresivo, derroída, lúgubre, en mal estado, prácticamente te grita sal corriendo, pero ya. Y así con los demás escenarios como vamos recorriendo, algo que es verdad y no puedo negar, es que el juego en general recibió buenas críticas, pero también se hacía una constante referencia a los errores de programación presentados, y que no era accesible a muchos jugadores debido a su alto nivel de dificultad, y eso pues es verdad. A ver, este juego sé que no es para todos, debido no solamente a esa dificultad nombrada, sino a que presenta muchísimo pero muchísimo de los libros de Lovecraft y a muchos sé que no les gusta leer. Claro, como vuelvo y repito, no te impide jugarlo para nada, puedes jugarlo, no hay ningún problema. Pero es obvio que no lo vas a disfrutar al, o en su plenitud. Yo sé que los fans de Lovecraft disfrutan este juego e incluso aquellos que adoran juegos de terror. El juego no se tienta la mano, ni es para gente débil, ni miedosa. Créeme que hay muchas escenas muy fuertes y demasiado explícitas que la verdad puede que a muchos no le agraden, pero sinceramente... Este sí es un juego muy recomendado solo para mayores de edad o con la suficiente comprensión, ya que no se lo recomendaría un depresivo, la verdad. Ahora, yo espero que te haya gustado el juego. 
es de esos que mínimo debes jugar una vez en la vida. Vuelvo y repito, no será el mejor debido a sus problemas de programación, pero es disfrutable la verdad. Y bueno, eso ha sido todo de mi parte. Yo espero que les haya gustado. Denle un gran like, suscríbanse, dejen sus comentarios allá abajo. También les recuerdo que tengo el botón de super gracias por si quieren apoyar al canal. Yo soy Sarna, hasta luego.